This time, like in this video, we are looking at active transport. So first of all, we need to know about moving substances by active transport. As active transport allows substances to be moved from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. So this is obviously against the concentration gradient, unlike diffusion or osmosis that we've looked at in two previous videos. So this means that cells can absorb ions from very dilute solutions outside the cell. It also enables cells to move substances through the cell membrane like sugars. Now active transport does take a lot of energy which they receive by cellular respiration. So therefore cells which do a lot of active transport such as root hair cells usually have a lot of mitochondria which will provide it with energy. So active transport can be very important. So for example, the mineral content in soil is found in a very dilute solution, but by using active transport, plants can absorb these mineral ions against a concentration gradient. Kidneys can also take in sugars such as glucose, and that is also done by active transport. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.